What'd you get? I got a piece of the Manhattan Bridge from Dave's uh, backdrop. I came to get standby tickets Tuesday. I just missed getting in. I've seen the show three times. I am a stand-up comic, and Dave was a big inspiration. Now I'm dumpster diving. From the set to the dumpsters, on Wednesday night, this was the scene outside the Ed Sullivan Theater, and this was tonight, fans trying to grab a piece of history. This fan took stuff home, still she felt it was all too soon. Two weeks would have been better, and like I said, give an opportunity for the people who were the fans that didn't come to see the show to visit the set, take pictures, and then just tear everything down. Dave, I have no idea what I'll do when you go off the air. You know, I just thought of something. I'll be fine. Comedian Jerry Seinfeld was part of Letterman's final show, as was his former co-star, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Thanks for letting me take part in another hugely disappointing series finale. But that reunion may have paled in comparison to another familiar scene, the time Kramer found the Merv Griffin set and took it home. Gentlemen, it's our good friend, George Costanza. Part of the uh, backdrop from the uh, set, and he's actually got the other piece. Uh, I mean, we're all kind of just looking around trying to keep a piece of history. Well, it happened again. What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> we're just finding uh, memorabilia. What, what is this? Uh, this is the Brooklyn Bridge, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. sorry. So, all right. Coming through. You got to be careful. According to a Letterman spokesperson, Dave has reserved some of the set pieces for himself. Some items are being sent to institutions that have requested them, and many items that could not be preserved or stored, a spokesperson says, are being disposed. You have history, right? I have history, and this guy on the list. 